Alaska practice field, but we have Aquinas football coach Tom Lee here with us. Uh, this is something you guys you're practicing with uh, on Alaska this week. Something you started last year. Talk about the benefits you guys get out of uh, facing each other. You know, four days a week in the summer here. Yeah, it was great. A few uh, few winters ago, we were at a clinic. Uh, coach Shinsky and I were both at a clinic, and we were uh, talking about. It. He kind of came up with it, and I thought that sounds a good idea. Uh, we were going to do it, and then there was pandemic, so we started to do it last year. And it went better than I thought it could have gone. Um, you know, we get to do kind of our team install stuff on one side of the ball. Uh, so, for instance, for defense, they do their install on offense. And then for the last uh, half hour or so, we come back together and they got their varsity throwing pass routes against our uh, D varsity DBs. But the best thing for us is our young guys. Uh, our freshmen and our sophomores get to go against their young kids and get real looks. And so we get great scout looks and they get great action. And, uh, I think everybody walks away getting a lot of uh, a lot of snaps and having a lot of fun. Okay, we talked earlier during practice. We were talking about you guys winning state last year. Talk about the interesting rule you have in place. That was a long time ago. We don't, <laughs> uh, we don't let guys talk about it. We don't wear. Uh, they're not allowed to wear any state championship gear in the weight room or anytime we're doing football stuff. Uh, that was uh, last year's team. Um, we want to make them forget that they won a championship, but remember everything that they did that takes to win a championship. So that's kind of where we're uh, where we're at. All right, on Alaska football coach Tom Yashinsky here. I uh, just got done with a practice, having a, a week of working with uh, Aquinas, as you said, a team you're not going to see during the season, so you guys can really just kind of go out there and do whatever you want. Uh, talk about some of the big benefits you've seen from doing this for a couple of years now. Players get, get live reps on other players, and you're not worried about putting a scout team together. Uh, they handle the defense one day, you handle the offense, then you switch roles. Um, and, and you don't have to worry about coaching both sides of the ball. We can coach all of our offensive players. Our young guys are all getting reps against other young guys. They're not mismatched because they're going up against a varsity defense. They can slow down at the younger level uh, and, and walk before they run. We can hit the ground running at a varsity level and, and everybody's getting valuable reps. Okay. What were some of the things you guys outlined when you put this together? That you, I mean, just the things you just said, yeah. or was there anything else that you I mean, really wanted to get out of this? We just talked about we we're going to go helmets only. You know, we don't want to put shoulder pads on because we, we don't want it to be physical. We want it to be a learning thing and guy, getting guys in the right spot. Um, and, and really just having respect for each other's programs, which we both do, but emphasizing that to kids and understanding that, that we make each other better. It's not a competition to come out here and win a, a July 13th contact game versus Aquinas. It's an opportunity for us to come out here and get better as a program and do it against a quality program. Obviously a team that won state last year, um, which you know not everybody gets a chance to, to do that every year. So um, just, just really 
working together and collaborating and we shared what we were going to do so that we, we weren't surprised they're going to come out in this all right we got that we can defend that here's what we're going to do so they knew um so so you saw a good look they had an idea they got a good look also